la star du moment quand je passe, tout le monde me regarde. <rire> La star du moment quand je passe, tout le monde me regarde. Two of my reaction to um, the drag queen, you know, basically getting people's reactions, um, you know, from the local, you know, neighborhood in Africa. And um, as you could clearly tell, that um, those people are just, you know, like laughing as like it's a joke, you know. And from part one, as I said, is that it's not normal over there for, you know, like drag queens or LGBTQ, um, any of those social contract, uh, construct um, ideas or, you know, um, movements basically is not as normalized as it is here in America. And from the guys at TikTok, um, he does, you know, dress up, not dress up, dress down, I would say, like in his normal, you know, um, as a male. So I don't know if he's doing it as like a joke or anything just to get people's reactions, but it it's obviously clearly, you know, a trend because he's getting multiple, you know, reactions from many different, you know, Africans, whether they're, you know, male or female, you know, and children too, you know. So it's like, that's his whole TikTok, TikTok pages of many people. It's not just like, oh, like one or two videos and that's cool. You know, he just got, you know, a lot of views for one or two videos from just a couple people having, you know, similar reactions and funny reactions. No, it's literally like video after video is possibly over 50 videos of many different people reacting in the same way and this is you know now in a different country from the u.s so um over here it wouldn't be a trend you know like in u.s there if someone if a male or a female were to dress up as a drag queen or in the opposite if a male were to dress up um as a woman you know in the same way that he's doing it in the u.s and go around to just try to get people people's you know reaction it, it wouldn't get, it wouldn't be a trend. It wouldn't be getting famous or popular. Why? Because it's normalized over here. Actually, if people react the way they're reacting in the U.S., it could literally be a, a defense, like a legal defense. I don't know. Like with this world, it's like with U.S., it's very sensitive, you know, with people. So I feel like if people start, you know, um, recording or, you know, laughing and joking and making, you know, that person feel some sort of way that they're emotionally hurt, 
then um, it's going to cause them to, you know how like they just make up things saying, oh, well, you'll make that person more suicidal or this is why they don't feel fit in into, into society because you're not allowing them to express themselves freely in, in any kind of way they want to, even if they want to play dress up and pretend to be something that they're not, um, allow them to do that. And that's the U.S. That's why we have to continue praying for this country. But and so it might be in other countries as as well, maybe just not Africa with this, because they're more so on at least the gender rules being um, normal and not uh, psychologically um, delusional. So I just feel like that we just need to continue praying, especially for children, you know, um, as in the U.S. because they're strongly pushing that on kids um, at a young age. So we have to continue praying for those kids that, um, you know, that they're receiving the good news of God and, at, and of just the gender of who God made you to be, who God created you to be, and to actually feel confident in your identity and who, what that is and just to you know, accept it and to build off of that and develop, you know, it takes time, especially like emotions are different. So um, they change. So with kids going through puberty and stuff that is going to develop and take time. So that's why we have to continue praying for kids, praying for people, especially those who are still, you know, in the LGBT plus Q plus community, we have to pray for them because, you know, some people we might think, especially Christians, we might be thinking that, oh, they're too far off, you know, or they were too far gone. No, that's, a, you know, a soul that you should still continue praying for that, you know, one day that they will hear the good news and actually have a heart to receive it. So, just um, another video of a reaction. I, I don't know how many reaction videos that I could possibly be doing with this, but this one, I, I, I did laugh on the car, the car scene, because I just thought that was just funny that he stopped by. But hopefully this, this clearly this guy is just not going to stop doing this because he's getting lots of views based off of it because it's not normal. So um, it's just interesting just to see the different reactions, honestly.